next up is another wonderful champion of labor and also one of my favorite people in the whole world, Senator Tierra Ben. Hi, everyone. Um, since I have been in office, um, I ran as an unapologetically, formerly low income black queer person. And the fight for wage justice is the fight for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which many people who are opponents of minimum wage and of a living and just wage, which I believe, um, like um, Representative Henry said, $19 is the floor. We should be advocating consistently and loudly for a $25 minimum wage or more because when we say $15 out loud and when we say $19 out loud, that's less than $50,000 a year for working families who deserve life, access to health care, access to shelter, food. Um, who, have, who should have access to uh, safety in their communities, so access to childcare and quality education, without providing folks with a um, with a wage that will sustain life and without a wage that sustains liberty and the choice to choose how and where you go, um, what communities you are able to live in. We're not actually advocating for working families and for black and brown people. Most of the people, all of the people who are standing behind me today are black and brown candidates who know and have the lived experience of family members, friends, and communities that have worked paycheck to paycheck and have not been able to make ends meet. What we've watched during the global pandemic, the richest in our country um, and huge corporations make record profits that did not trickle down to the hard workers that made those record profits uh, possible. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted highlighted how the resources simply are not making it to the people who are the backbone of our country. If we are not fighting for workers, we are not fighting to make sure that every single person and all of their identities are represented, uplifted, and cared for in our communities. We're watching a uh, generational and uh, race-based wealth gap expand due to our lack of action on a living and just wage for all people. We've watched access to um, educational opportunities slip by many people who cannot afford uh, because of the uh, because of the lack of just paying jobs in their communities for their children to lift themselves out of poverty and provide opportunities for generation um, and for generating wealth in their own families. A uh, lack of a living wage prevents people from owning homes and from um, achieving uh, their highest potential in communities that we've been sold the lie of for too long that um, again, this is a country founded on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, but only for those who are guaranteed a just and living wage. Uh, so the time is past due for Rhode Island to pass um, a minimum standard of $19, but again, I will consistently and uh, feverishly advocate for a $25 minimum wage or more for all Rhode Islanders. Thank you. 